Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the status so far of the Western and Southern ATP Tennis Open from Cincinnati in Ohio. We have some great semi-finals coming up today and I just want to talk a little bit about some of the players who have made it through this far in the tournament. Now if you're a tennis fan like me you'll be absolutely amazed with the standard of tennis we're seeing across the world so far this year from both the men and the women. It just seems that every match is such an epic battle uh, between men and women and it seems as though a couple of points here and there makes the difference in all of these matches and it's just so close. Um, between the top players in both draws it's incredible how the level of tennis is at the moment. I don't know whether we've ever seen this in the history of tennis before, maybe we have back in the day, but usually um, we don't see the top 10 in both the men and women being able to beat each other really uh, on an ad hoc basis week in week out. It's really exciting times and uh, none other than this week in the Western and Southern Open from Cincinnati in Ohio. And uh, today we have the men's semi-finals taking place and I just want to talk about the quarterfinals and some of the great matches that happened in the quarterfinals. Cam Norrie from the UK has been playing really fantastic tennis this, so far this year and uh, he took on Carlos Alcaraz, the number four in the world and the Spanish superstar really other than Rafael Nadal. I think everybody's expecting that Alcaraz is going to go on and have an amazing ATP career and uh, he probably is. But in this particular match, Nori got the better of him, and uh, in three sets, Nori won 7 6, 6 7, 6 4. And it was a fantastic match, and uh, Nori admitted after the match that he took his foot off the gas a little bit, being up 4 1 in the second set, and uh, he let Alcaraz back into it. But Alcaraz played his way back into the game. It was a torrid physical affair, it was really a fantastic match. But Nori kept the rallies going a little bit longer, and that's what saw him dominate at the end in this match and actually get the win against Carlos Alcaraz but both of these players played an outstanding game of tennis um, it was really really good match and Cam Norrie now goes through to the semi-final here at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati um, his opponent in the semi-final is going to be Daniel Medvedev and Medvedev played against Taylor Fritz Fritz has been having a really good season um, he put Nick Kyrgios away the other day which no one's really been able to do in the last couple of months and he played very, very well in that match. He played, played well against Medvedev, but he was not going to win this match, I felt, from the start. Medvedev ended up winning 7-6, 6-3. And uh, that was a really good match. I think Medvedev is getting back to that standard again, that level again. I think he's going to be a, a big threat at the US Open. And let's not forget, he's world number one at the moment. So he's carrying the biggest ranking as well. Um, in the other semi-finals we had, uh, sorry, in the other quarter-finals we had uh, Stefano Tsitsipas playing against John Isner. I've got to say, John Isner is playing great tennis this year. He's taking it pretty deep in a lot of these tournaments that he's playing in. And he's always a difficult customer uh, to play against with that thunderous serve that he has. And uh, Tsitsipas found it difficult to overcome Isner, but he got there in the end, 7-6, 5-7, 6-3. And um, he set up a semi-final now and against Boron Koric. And Koric from Croatia has just played absolutely fantastic this tournament. This guy, I think, is going to upset a lot of people at the US Open. Um, if you remember Koric, he was a guy that a few years ago was playing really, really great tennis. He then fell off the uh, scene a little bit. And uh, he's currently ranked about 152 in the world, I think. So he's really putting it putting it up there and he came over uh, Felix Auger Alassim and Felix has been playing really really good tennis uh, he bet Yannick Sinner in an absolute thriller in the third round which was a really great match to watch if you haven't seen that go back and watch the highlights of that match it was a really really great match but in this match Korik got the better of him 6-4 6-4 straight sets and Korik is in the semi-final against Stefano Tsitsipas and has a very good chance I think of making it through to the final in the Western and Southern Open. So there's the men's semi-finals uh, draw and uh, we're seeing Cam Norrie and Daniel Medvedev against uh, and then Tsitsipas against Korik in the other semi-finals. Going to be a really good match up today. Who do you think is going to win those those two matches? Now turning attention to the women's side of the draw and uh, equally on the women's side of the draw there's been some fantastic matches taking place. In the quarterfinals we had Madison Keys 
up against Elena Rybakina, who was the Wimbledon champion this year, of course, from Kazakhstan. And Madison Keys playing really well in this tournament, got the better of Rybakina by 6-2, uh, 6-4, six, six, so straight sets victory there for Madison Keys. In the other quarterfinal, we had Petra Kitva beating uh, Ajaya Tomilanik from Australia, 6-2, six, 6-3, six, so straight win, sets win there for Petra. Petra's getting back into the groove again and playing some really, really good tennis. In the other women's semi-final, we're going to see Sabalenka up against the French woman Garcia. And in their respective um, quarterfinals, Sabalenka bet Sheng Shui from uh, China, 6-4, 7-6. And Garcia bet Jessica Pagula, 6-1, 7-5. And that was a good win for Garcia. Garcia's playing really well. She's had 25 wins this season. A um, little bit of... Uh, uh, chat on the internet about how she since she's dropped her father as a coach she's been playing really really great tennis she's been playing aggressive attacking tennis and uh, yeah it may be true just because you change coach it doesn't matter whether it's your father or not you can have a bit of a resurgence in form and Garcia has been always a, a really good player rooted in the top 20 of the world and now she's climbing the rankings again and uh, that's going to be a really really good uh, semi-final to see her play Sabalenka who is a powerful aggressive player so who do you think are going to win those semi-finals in the men's and women's draw we're only a couple of weeks away now from the US Open starting it's getting really exciting there's going to be some awesome tennis matches and I'm sure there's going to be some upsets along the way but that's what's happening so far this weekend at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati and Ohio the latest ATP 1000 and WTA 1000 events and um, interested to see who comes out on top i'll be doing another video leading up to the finals of this tournament tomorrow and uh, we'll see who makes it through the semi finals until then thanks very much for watching my videos please subscribe to this channel send us a comment tell us about who you think uh, are going to win these matches and uh, give the old video a thumbs up as well as if you can that'll be really tremendous okay i'll see you again soon in the next video bye for now